hate packing. Hi, it's me, Sophie, but I look like crap, so you might not even recognize me. It is the day before I have to be ready to go to Nashville, Tennessee. And I am just not about putting makeup on to pack. Like, it's not happening. I do wish my glasses were glareless, just so it's easier for you guys, but just get go with it. You're going to Nashville, my boyfriend Solomon. I'll pop a picture of us on the screen here. He's been on my channel a lot too, so you probably know him. He's a musician and he has an EP deal with a studio, a record, a record company. Not like a record deal, it's like an EP deal. He's doing four songs and they try to pitch it to like companies and get them on TV shows and movies and stuff. So that's what it is and we are going just the two of us for now but then over the weekend his mother is going to come with us and she's gonna keep me company when he's working and then monday me and solomon will spend the day together because he only has to do the work part throughout the weekend but yeah that's what we're doing i'm kind of tagging along because i've never been anywhere but i also want to go just because that's a big deal for him you know what i mean so yes I need to pack and I don't want to and I'm nervous I'm on a plane one other time I've only like been on a plane once I've only been anywhere really once I went to Mexico a couple years ago and that's it so we need to get to packing and I don't really know what I'm doing okay so I have this for the plane that I can put like on top of us so I have like my backpack which is like one of my carry-ons and then my actual carry-on bag. We can have like a personal bag, so let's go my little backpack. And I still have my tag from last time. That's funny. But yeah, so I have, it's, I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's V-I-A-G-G-I -G -G -I Mia. That's the brand. Solomon's family got me this actually, or it was Solomon's old one or something. I don't know. Luckily, I didn't have to buy it, but it's super nice and you can like lock it there's like a lock thing here you can obviously pull this up and drag it behind you which is nice so we're gonna open it and another good thing about this i'll kind of put it down so you guys can see how big it is another good thing about it is there's two different ones so you can like pull it out more to get more room on the top there so there's like two different ones so then it's a little deeper which is nice but i actually have to pack another bag because we're staying in minneapolis the night before because we fly down thursday from minneapolis but we live in north dakota so we have to drive from north dakota to minneapolis wednesday night so we're staying in minneapolis for a night and i want to have just a different bag that way i don't have to touch this bag you know this is like the tennessee bag okay and that's the minnesota bag and i wrote myself a cheat sheet so this little donut sticky note thing I got going on. I looked on my weather app and I just wrote the weather that's gonna be in Nashville for the next week. So the first day we get there, it's gonna be hot but rainy. And then the rest of the days, it's just like sunny and cloudy. And it's in the 70s to the 80s, which is nice because where we live, it it was like 40 the other day and today it's in the 60s and it's kind of supposed to like stay in the 60s. So it's a little bit warmer, which is nice. And now we open the closet. Well, this is my side. I don't even know what to pack. I'm very, I'm very confused. I'm just gonna go through my closet quick. Maybe do a speed through, maybe just cut, and then we'll see what I got going on. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I turned the camera off for like a good half hour because I had a little panic attack, a little mental breakdown where I was in tears just thinking I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm, I, as I said earlier, I never travel, so like trying to put together a whole week of outfits instead of just like a weekend is so hard for me just because I never do it. I have six days that I'm there, but I have like eight to ten outfits because I'm trying to be like, well, what if all of a sudden we want to go on a hike? Or what if all of a sudden I want to wear the lounge clothes? Or what if it starts raining? Like, I don't know. I packed a lot, so now I'm just really scared it's not going to all fit. So, I had to go dig out my summer clothes. It's over there in a bin. And my summer shoes and everything. Because I'm going to wear like, I packed a pair of flip-flops and then two sandals. Because I feel like that's what I want to wear. And then as I go to the airport on Thursday, and when I go to the airport on Tuesday to come home, I'm wearing the same outfit, which I will show you. 
is my favorite thing ever, which is this like sweatsuit set that I bought from Target, which was a little expensive because you have to buy each piece, each piece separately. So it's like 50 bucks, but it's totally worth it. It's just this cute little black uh, outfit. And then it has the matching like sweatpants. And then I'm gonna wear sneakers with it with this little backpack as my personal bag on the plane. And then I'm packing a purse to wear in Nashville because I'm, I'm a purse girl, let's be real. But when I'm in an airport, this will be good because I wanna pack a book, my camera, some, some like charging equipment. I'm going to pack this outfit up into this bag, which is the Minnesota bag when we stay in Minneapolis for a night. And this is my little camera bag that I'm gonna put in my black backpack for the plane. Okay, I did move you guys over to here just so you can kind of see more of what I'm doing and the lighting isn't so terrible. I'm trying to like zoom more in my bag. But what I did is the part that opens up, I just put my bras and my underwear and my socks in there and then I'm gonna put my shoes in there. So I have my my sneakers that I'm gonna wear into Nashville so I don't need to pack those, I'll just be wearing them, which is perfect because those are the biggest and I wanted to make sure I didn't have to pack that. So I have just a, some cute pairs of like little sandals I can wear with dresses or jeans or shorts or whatever. So I have these cutie sandals. I love sandals like this. I literally thrifted them. They've never broken on me or anything. And then I just have a little quick pair of flip flops if I just need to like chuck some shoes on. So, and then as I said, I'll have my sneakers. So if we want to go on a walk or something and for the airport, I have good shoes, which is important because the last time we went somewhere, I did not have good shoes and that sucked. And I think the next thing I want to pack is the purse I'm bringing to use when I'm in Nashville. So what I made sure to do, actually a long time ago, but I think it's so helpful if you don't already do this. So you see how the wallet I use every day now, actually in my purse every day, is this one by Kate Spade, which I absolutely love. It's just huge, right? Like, it's just too big. So what I made sure to do is I bought this little thing from Target like a year or two ago. I love doing this when I go to fairs or concerts or on hikes or something or like if I travel. It's just the perfect thing to get so you can put like your ID in here, some cash and your credit card or your debit card, whatever. And this is what I do because this saves me so much space. So when we're traveling to Minneapolis, I'll have my old purse. So I will have this, but I'm gonna switch my ID and my card and some cash into here so when I go to Nashville, I just have this little thing which will fit so well in my travel backpack and in my purse when we get to Nashville. So I just think if you don't already do this, I mean, it's pretty common sense. I'm not like a genius or anything. If you probably already do this, but if you don't do it, it's like so much helpful. And again, with the shoes, wear the biggest clunkiest shoes there. That way you can just pack all your little shoes. I'm gonna bring these little shorts, so if we want to hike or something, or I'm hot in the house, I can just wear little shorts. And then I just brought a couple pairs of t-shirts in case I need a t-shirt for something. So this one says, not today, with a little kitty on it. And then this one is just my friend's t-shirt. And I did crop both of these myself, because I love a good crop top, and those shorts are high-waisted. So, yep, I just got some of those. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like, my chill outfits in here. And then I just brought a sweatshirt, because I find myself just wanting a sweatshirt every now and then just so we're like around the house we're staying in. This is just my little North Dakota home sweatshirt, so I, I did bring that. And then I did just bring a pair of leggings because sometimes you just wanna wear a pair of leggings. So these are like the extra things I brought that aren't necessarily outfits, but like I wanna make sure I have them in case like I'm finding myself like wanting them, you know what I mean? So I think I'll put those in there too. And then maybe like my outfit outfits, I'll put on top and then grab these straps and just strap it down. I don't really know yet, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. But then again, do I actually have space for all this? <laughs> I don't know. And then honestly, I don't know if this is gross or not, but for the six days that we're there, I'm just gonna wear these. It's my little Target sleepwear set. And I don't know, is it gross? So I feel like I wear one pair of PJs a week, so maybe that's not gross, but I'm just gonna wear that for the nighttime. Now I'll show you the outfits that I picked out. Okay, mind you, these have been in storage, so when I get to Nashville, I'm probably gonna have to hang them up, or maybe even iron them. They're a little wrinkly, but you know, they're still cute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just bring my two pair of favorite jeans, which are these pairs that I got from Target, just a nice little skinny jean. And then I have another pair 
that I got at Old Navy a really long time ago. The ones I just showed you aren't that old. They're like a couple years old. These are like, I think I just graduated high school. So they're like four or five years old, but they still work. Another pair of skinny jeans. I just like to have two different color washes because some shirt colors look better with a dark wash and then some shirt colors look better with a light wash. So I want to bring both of these. I'm a little scared they won't fit, but we'll see. So for one day, I have this cute little top that I could wear with jeans or maybe a pair of shorts. I just think it's really cute. And who knows, I probably won't even wear all this. I just wanna make sure I have options. And then another day, I think this would be cute. It's just like a little peplum top. And then I have this cute little tank. I think it's really, or yeah, it's a little tank, but it's kind of like more of a formal one with the little straps and the ruffles and it has little polka dots on it. So I have that shirt. And then I have this shirt, which I thrifted. And I did put in a haul, so you guys might have already seen it, but it's just like a nice little long sleeve that I thought would look good with jeans or with shorts or something. And it's not too hot, it's not too thick. And it has those lace on the sleeves, which I love. And this is like one of the few things I already had in my closet. <laughs> so I didn't have to go find it. And then I brought this just to wear over a tank top, over a little dress, over really anything. So this is like, that's gonna be a lifesaver, I think. Just because at night it would probably get cooler. And then I brought this little top to wear with like shorts or, or jeans, just something. And then again, I can throw this over it because I don't really like showing my arms, so I probably will wear that. And then I brought my two favorite my two favorite pairs of shorts. So these are my high-waisted shorts that my sister gave me. And I, that's the part of being a middle kid. You always get the, what is it called, the hand-me-downs. But these are really cute, actually. Have a little flower print on them. Probably wear it with that pink shirt. And then I brought my second pair of favorite, actually, these are probably my favorite pair. <laughs> I don't know, I love both these a lot, but love these. My sister also gave me these, so they were free and everything with that orange shirt probably. And then I brought this little romper, which I thrifted a long time ago actually. I think I was like 17 and it still fits me. So this is a really cute romper. And look at that, there's a little back cutout, so cute. That I could wear with that white cardigan again and then just like some sandals. And then I just wanted to have a couple dresses in case we go out to dinner and need to look nice or something. Or this dress, it's it looks fancy, but like it's really not it's so comfortable and it makes my body look tiny so there's this little wrap dress that i got from target i think my sister did actually and then she gave it to me so yeah and then i have this one this is the dress i'm thinking like if we need to go anywhere you need to look nice this is like a dress i thrifted but it looks really nice so if you want to see all these clothes i'm not going to do like a try on section because i'm already stressed enough but you can see me wear them in my vlog i will probably do an ootd every single day that I'm vlogging so you will see these in my vlog and that'll be up next week so that'll be up for nope the second weekend of May and then I'll be vlogging the first week of May so I need to fit it all in here now oh lord help me lord help me okay what I decided to do is I was able to fit my romper in here and my dresses and after I'm done packing the toiletries on this side I'm going to then put the leftover clothes on top of that because I think that's the only one we get this to work but now let's pack the toiletries which sucks I'm gonna do a little Target haul for you guys so what I bought at Target yesterday was the thing of quart size Ziploc bags and then I bought a bunch of little travel size shampoo and conditioner for me and then Solomon has his shampoo and conditioner I could not find like mini um mini body wash i know for a fact i had one but i don't know where it went so i guess we're just gonna have to use our shampoo or, or conditioner to clean our bodies i could not find a mini one anywhere in target i felt really stupid but we'll just have to use our shampoo to clean our body it's whatever and then we got a little teeny deodorant which i think is so cute this is mine from dove and this is a dove men one for solomon and then we got our mini toothpaste and then oh my gosh I love these these are like little makeup wipes for me they're not makeup wipes they're just normal wipes I don't ever use makeup wipes I use normal wipes because makeup wipes irritate my skin and my eyes so bad and I know you're not supposed to use any wipe at all you're supposed to use like what is that Marcello water but I haven't gotten around to it yet I'm still using my wipes so for now this will do to get my makeup off 
And then I bought myself this poetry book, which I'm gonna get closer for you to see. It's really cool. It says, The Truth of You, poetry about love, life, joy, and sadness. Isn't that just like really cool looking? And I hope it's, oh, is it not focusing? Is it focusing? Okay, there we go. I think that looks super cool. And the author is I A I N S Thomas. Ianen? I don't know how to say his name, but I read a few of the poetry, like the poems in the store and I really liked it. So I'm gonna read this on the plane. That's my plane book. So this will go in my backpack. And then the rest of this will obviously go in here. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put the toiletries over here in this side and I'm gonna put all those clothes on top of it and hope and pray it zip shut. <laughs> That's like my only option right now. I know that I'm overpacking, but last time I packed, just for like the days I needed and then I felt like I underpacked so I just didn't have all the clothes I want you know you guys a lot I change a lot in a day I realize I have my work clothes and then I come home and I have like my chill clothes which is what I'm wearing right now and then I have my pajamas and then if we would have went on a hike or something because it's nice out but we didn't because we're busy I would have put on leggings or shorts and then like a t-shirt like there's a lot of different outfits you wear in a day and then if we would have went out like, I would have not worn this. I would have worn something nicer. So I just realized that about myself. There's so many outfits I either do or or could potentially wear in a day to be happy. So, like, I am just like a person where, like, overpacking to me is, like, what I need to do. Because if I pack just for what I need need, I feel like I'm underpacking. So let's just hope it all fits. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack my little set of fills. This is what I use. So I have my cleanser and my moisturizer. And then I have this little thing of contact solution. I don't have much left of it, but it'll have to do. And then I have my contact right here. And then I have my little hairbrush. My hairbrush I normally use is a lot bigger, but this will fit nicer. So we have this. And then, okay, this I'm a little worried about because when I looked it up, it says 3.4 fluid ounces on a plane. And I have to use um, got this type of God and Gardas sunscreen. It's like a... Why won't it focus? There we go. It's like a mineral sunscreen or a sand sunscreen or something. It's for sensitive skin. Because sunscreen, normal sunscreen, breaks me out really bad. Or it irritates my eczema. So this is exactly 3.4 ounces. And even though when I look it up and it says the what that you can have is 3.4, I'm still scared to like take it from me just because it's exactly 3.4. But then Solomon's like, that's ridiculous. And they only take it if it's 3.5. And I was like, I know, but like, it's like right there. They're gonna take it, but yeah. And then I went through all my makeup the other day and <clears throat> the only thing I can't bring is my setting spray because it's four ounces. So everything else I can take. So I didn't wanna pack that all up. So Solomon helped me kind of put it all away. <laughs> so in this little cubby, I have my non-liquid makeup. No, on this one, my bad. It's just literally a plastic bag of like powder, blush, bronzer, things like that. And then in this little bag, I just have my makeup brushes and um, my eyebrow, my eyelash curler and my beauty blender. And then what I did not know is there's a little compartment under this. So when Solomon unzipped that and this lifted up, I was able to put my my other bag that had my deodorant. Um, what else did it have? It had my razor, my little tooth, but I have a little travel toothbrush, so I put that in there. And what else did it have in there? I don't know. It just had like that stuff in it. More stuff I need that's not liquid. So yeah, and then my clothes. So that was wonderful. And then the only thing left to put in there is my liquids bag, which <laughs> barely shut. Homegirl has a lot of liquids. So I have my toothbrush in there, my um contact solution my foundation i have a little tiny mascara my little bronze my little primer concealer uh have my moisturizer in there and my cleanser my shampoo and conditioner some lipstick some liquid lipstick and some lip gloss i have a little moisturizer spray and then i have my eyebrow gel and my contacts are in there so yeah, that barely fit, but it's there. And then because you have to take it out right when you get there to pass through like TSA and stuff, we're just gonna put it on top. So when that happens, I can just take her right out. But everything else is like packed away. So yeah, most of my clothes and my undies and my shoes are in here and then more clothes underneath. 
with my like toiletry bag and then my makeup bags non-liquid and then my liquid bag so that's done now we just have to zip her up and then i did my nails today just painted them a, a little pinky color and then my toes are that color too and my cat's sitting here so all we have left to pack up is my travel backpack my mini backpack okay hon can you help me shut it now yeah. he asked me that earlier and i said no i have to show the vlog but now i have to um zip it i got one side I'm kind of ruining the camera <laughs> see and look at that this is such a nice bag your mom's so nice for giving me this oh yeah we have another one to zip up remember there's like two Do you remember what the code was no. You can lock these in there. Should I lock it? I mean, if you don't know the code, oh, yeah, probably no. not. <laughs> All right. It's kind of like heavy, y'all. Gonna have to lug this to the airport. So the last thing I'm gonna pack is my mini backpack. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, in this little compartment up here, I'm going to put my chapstick in there and my little wallet. And then I'm gonna put my camera charger in there but it's charging right now, but it's just a little, it's just a little like camera battery. And then it has the battery, it has a little camera charger and then the camera battery goes in it. And then it has like a plug in to plug into the wall. It's, I'm using it right now because I'm, uh, my camera died earlier, but yeah. So I'm gonna put that in there too. <laughs> and then that'll be that. And then if we open this up, got quite a bit of room in there. I will put my camera that's, you know, on the tripod right now. Put the camera in here in my little camera bag, put that in there. And then, and then I will want to bring my handheld tripod in case I want to do that. And then my book. I'll probably put my phone charger in here as well. And I'll put it in that little zip compartment, my phone charger. But I need my phone charger until we leave. So one thing I will pack right now is my headphones. So I have my book in there right now, my headphones, and my camera tripod for the, the little one for when I'm vlogging. And then I'll just pack this camera into this bag, put the, the camera charger in here, and I think that's all I need in this bag. It's only like a two hour, two and a half hour flight, so you know, I don't think I'll get that bored. I can just like listen to music, read my book. So yeah, that'll be that. And then I think I'm done. Oh yeah, and then my sunscreen did not fit my liquids bag because I have too many liquids. But luckily Solomon has room in his. So he's gonna bring my sunscreen for me in that. And then I have the Minnesota bag back there. That took me like two hours, two mental breakdowns, and lots of help from Solomon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I probably over explained because that's what I do. Because I like to be very, very thorough. I look like crap because my hair was drying. I have no makeup on and my glasses are on. So sorry about that. Um, but I do like watching packing videos and I needed a video for this week and I'm only in, at my house for three days out of the seven. So I kind of just had to throw together one. Oh, and sunglasses, hold on. I'm gonna put a pair of sunnies in my travel bag. I'm kind of between these two. Do I want to wear my aviators or do I want to wear these? I don't know. I, it's like I like the look of these a lot, but like these I can just throw up in my hair and it doesn't hurt. Whereas these, if you throw up in your hair, they hurt because they got nose pieces. So I will put one or maybe both of these in my mini backpack at some point. But yeah, that's all I got. If you want to keep up with me, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to see all my videos there's a dog barking i hope you don't hear that and of course follow me on tiktok and instagram which i have written down here and it'll be linked down below and i'll have me solomon's music stuff linked down below so go check that out and yeah guys it's happening we're going to tennessee we're going to nashville i'm gonna hopefully vlog it and i'm gonna hopefully get it edited and you guys will see it uh, the second weekend of may and my sister had her baby today, which is very exciting. So I'm now an auntie. That was kind of a random thing I threw in there, but I just like was thinking about packing so much. I didn't tell you guys that yet, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Look out for the Nashville vlog. Check out Solomon's music. 
like this video <laughs> and have an amazing day. Oh, remember to like, comment, subscribe and have an amazing day. Bye. You are always on my mind, always on my mind, always on my mind. Oh, you are always on my mind, always on my mind, always on my mind.